a good old customer has awarded us a purchase order, let's convert the quote we gave him into a QuickBooks invoice. We bring up the quote form. Then we find the quote, I found this quote name in Outlook. Enter it in the open quote dialog box, it is an XML file. We make sure totals match. Store quotes connect with QuickBooks and it is able to quickly add and look up customers in the QuickBooks company file. It can also create invoices and vendor purchase orders. Let's find this customer. We don't need to enter the complete name. Store quotes will find all the customer names that contain the keyword we enter and bring up a list of matches. Select the full customer name from this list, double click to show the shipping address to confirm and avoid disaster. The quote now has the customer name, we just need to manually enter the purchase order reference into the quote form. This should always be on the customer purchase order. Now paste it in the PO input box. This will be used to create the new invoice, also saved with the updated quote. Now we are ready to do the magic, pain and error free. Dialog box to confirm every item on the quote will be entered. Confirm custom reference by name. Purchase order number, confirm shipping charges. This one was quoted X works, so we confirm zero. Shipping method was not found on the quote, so we enter it manually. X works. We get a warning that we are shipping within the state of Texas, where we are registered for sales tax. Boom. Invoice 2778 was created for this order. We now go to QuickBooks and open the last invoice. We do a quick review to make sure everything went well, the total matches. Everything seems in order, as expected. We have just confirmed tax exempt status for this customer customer in France and we are shipping to his freight agent in Houston, Texas. Creating a QuickBooks vendor PO from a quote is as easy.